Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the hamster claw bracelet. This is an original design by me and it was named by Flower Lumi on Instagram. Um, if you do make this please use the hashtag hamster Lumi and tag me on Instagram so I'll see your bracelets. And um, also this is a hook only design um, if you're not aware of that already. So yeah without further ado let's get started. Okay, so the supplies needed are your hook. Today I'm using the Rainbow Lane pink metal tipped hook. You'll also need some bands and I'd recommend using about two colours. I'm going to be using the same colours um, as I showed at the start of the video. So I'm going to use black and this Persian type of colour. So you'll also need a c-clip as usual or any type of closure so you need to get your stuff ready and then we will start you're going to start by taking your hook you're going to take um your first color of bands and this is going to be the kind of dragon scale parts in the type of thing in the center and you're just going to make a cat band like that and now you're going to take another band of the same colour and you're going to slide it through there and then put the other end over and you're going to take another one put it at the end of the hook and only slide it through the very first loop and then you're going to put the other end over and now you're going to just flip the bracelet like that and you're going to repeat the same thing to the other side. So you're just going to take one band and slide it through only the first one. Like that. And now you're going to take another band. And you're, um, you're going to only slide it through the first three. And sorry if I'm going like too fast or anything. And you're going to reclaim the very end one. Like that. And you're going to put the other one that's on your finger over and then you're going to take this band so the one second and closest to the tip of your hook and you're going to move it out to there so you should have something like this and you're going to take the um, kind of hamster claw parts for the center and um, not center but on the outskirts of it and you're going to take it and slide it through the first two bands like this and um sorry and you're going to reclaim the outer one and then put the other end on your hook and this may be a little bit loose but you'll just have to deal with it and make sure it doesn't fall off and then once you've done that, you're going to um, take this part, so this centre band, and this should be black, or whatever colour you're using for the outside, and you're going to just flip it over like that. And now once you've done that, you're going to move this band over the first um, gold one like that and once you've done that sorry I just have to keep pausing and starting to make sure that I'm doing it right um, but you're going to take the first two layers off the hook like that and you see this one here oh sorry um, you see this band here you're going to reclaim this one so it should be that one and the sun is burning my head right now because it's shining right into my head um claim that one and then put the other end over so you should have something like this and um i'm gonna show you again because i don't think i showed you in enough detail <laughs> sorry and once you've done that you're going to take another one of this colour now, so you the dragon scale type of part 
and you're going to slide it through the first two like that and just get um, you're going to put the other end over sorry about the crazy lighting the sun is actually shining bright onto where I am now so I was like this is a good time to film and sorry for not uploading in like ages I've not really felt like uploading it's just stressful because everyone's like when are you going to make the video and I don't really feel like filming and this is just a really easy design so I thought why not um just film a quick video um so yeah you're gonna take the claw part again and once you flip that you're gonna slide it through the first two and replace the fur furthest away from your hook like that and now you're gonna um take this when I'm moving you're gonna flip it over the hook and you can do it this way, it's just a little bit confusing on camera, just like that. And then you're going to pull it down kind of, and then you're going to take this black band and you're going to pull it over the first golden one. This is kind of a random bracelet and you're just going to take those first two loops off. And you only really need to hold on to that one because you're going to let that the black one loose and now you're going to reclaim sorry about the crazy lighting let's just allow the camera to focus and we're going to go in and grab this one and my hands are shaking because um, I'm just so nervous I'll um, mess up this video I'm trying to go at a faster speed but sort of slow so you can go along because my other videos are really fast um, and you're just going to slide it through those two like that and you're going to take another one slide it through the first three and you're going to do that dragon scale type of thing again and then reclaim this outer one and then move that across to there now you're going to take your claw bands and you're going to slide them through the first two, reclaim the outer one and take this one and pull it over. You're going to take this one um, claw band remaining on your hook and you're going to pull it over the first dragon scale band and for me it's the Persian one. Oh, sorry, um, and you're going to take the Persian one off your hook along with that black one there and you're going to reclaim this one so the basically the other end of the center band just make sure it doesn't like get um, tied up with this one because they can get tied and it will be hard to take apart but they're normally quite easy and enough of me talking <laughs> um let's just carry on um so you're going to take another band and slide it through the first two and once you've done that you're going to flip the bracelet over and you can see your bracelet starting to come a little bit and this will be the last time i'm showing you so if you still didn't understand um, then you need to pay attention probably or something like that but yeah i'll just rewind the video afterwards um, you're going to slide it through the first two, reclaim the outer one, take this black band here and pull it over. Sorry, and the camera's just going really weird. The hook's going crazy. Um, so, you're going to take this black one and you always need to move it over the... Um, dragon scale part one you're not moving the dragon scale one over there or I don't know what it'll look like I've not tried it though but I don't expect it'll look as good or an, and it definitely won't look the same so you're just going to take it off and then reclaim this center band from the dragon scale thing and put the other end over and I'm going to take another one and this is the Persian band now, or the dragon scale, if you might want to call it that. 
just slide them through and you're going to slide it through the first three this time and you can also just remove the first layer and then um like slide it through the two but yeah this is just how i do it and these bands tend to cross but you can just pull them apart um and these aren't any rainbow loom brand bands um these persian ones but rainbow loom do sell some persian ones um, but yeah, you're going to repeat this until you have a full bracelet length um, to fit around your whole wrist. And I'm going to be, um, I'm going to come back to show you how to finish it off. Okay, so I'm back with my full bracelet um, length. And this is how it looks like, or should look like. And the camera is still going really weird because of the sunlight. And as I said earlier, it's really, really bright today, burning the back of my head. Um, so yeah, um, you should have ended somewhere around here. Um, and now, just to finish, it's quite an easy ending. You're going to take one band. And you're just going to slide it through everything on your hook. And put the other end over. And then you're going to take your closure S-clip or C-clip or O-clip or whatever. I just dropped my C-clip. Um, I got it. Yay. Um, and then you're going to slide it through these two bands on the hook. So I'm just going to take it off the hook because I find it easier to do it off the hook. And I put it between my two fingers and then just close it like that. But it's up to you how you want to close it. It doesn't matter. Like that. And you're going to just attach the other end and then you have your completed hamster claw bracelet so that is how you make this hamster claw bracelet i hope you like this bracelet and please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out and also please subscribe if you haven't already my instagram link will be down below so you can go follow me on there and yeah, um, I hope to see you in my videos in the future. Bye!